Warning, this video contains images of feral pests being shot using a rifle of suitable calibre. Please do not watch if you are likely to be offended. Furthermore, if you make any comments that are either negative, political or religious, they will be removed from my channel. I'm finally back and have been editing this one for some time now, mainly due to me being slack and other life commitments, but also because I had nearly two hours of raw footage to get through. This is why this video will be in two parts. We are back out of the farm known for the Rat War series of videos, and from now on I won't be giving names of battles to these videos out of respect to my fellow veterans. So from now on, the video titles of all my videos will change format. I hope that you can both understand the reasoning and respect this decision. The video content will remain the same though. Bad dad jokes, silly sound effects and the usual stuff you have come to expect here. Once again, the rifles we'll be using are the FX Impact M3 chambered in .22 with the ATN 4K Pro scope on top and the ABL ballistic laser. Bob is also using exactly the same rifle, just in black. The pellets we're using are the JSB Hades weighing in at 15.89 grains. Bob spotted a cat and pulled out his Tika T1 chambered in 0.17 HMR and he's using the Hornady VMAX projectiles. As mentioned earlier, all our rifles have the ATN 4K Pro scopes on top fitted with the ABL ballistic lasers. We are also using the Axion XM30S thermal monocular just for spotting the animals that are hard to see. Let's get into it, and we'll let the pigeon start it off. So, it's time to let the feathers fly, and trust me, the last pigeon really emphasises this title. This shot hits the tin and ricochets away from the pigeon, so Bob had to finish him off with another shot. Headshot. Here we have an example of a near perfect chest shot. This looked like another good chest shot, however a second follow up shot doesn't hurt.
Here's the last pigeon, and as I said at the start, let the feathers fly. Well, that's enough of the pigeons. Time to target some rats, and there are plenty of the scaly tails out tonight. Not a perfect shot on the rat, but a second follow-up shot wasn't possible due to the movement. He passed away fairly quickly though. Well, that's enough of Bob. Now it's my turn to take a go at the rats. and he should have kept running. In this video, I can just imagine the mummy rat telling the baby rat not to go up there because he'll get hurt.
Mothers know best. I don't know how many times I tell them, but these rats just don't get the message. Rule number five. Show no love. Love will get you killed. With the ultimate show of true love, the first rat sacrifices himself again to save the second rat. However, it was all in vain. And now it's time for the first rat trick. So those new to the channel and are not sure what a rat trick is, here we claim a rat trick when we shoot three rats in a row without missing or without stopping the video. And we put a 10 second time limit just to make it that little bit harder. Oh shit, not good. Headshot. Even though this was three rats in a row without a miss, it was over the 10 seconds and therefore doesn't count as a rat trick.
We all know what these two are up to. At least one orifice was opened up nicely. That was an unusual miss for me, but I cleaned it up. I had to finish this one off with a second shot. Well, don't drink the Kool-Aid, you're better than that. I like Kool-Aid. And that's where we'll leave part one. Hope you enjoyed that as much as I did getting the raw footage. There is still plenty more to come in part two with some rapid fire action and maybe even a feline to finish off with. I promise it won't be too long to wait. I'm also thinking of doing a few short videos with limited shooting but focusing more on education and information. Stay tuned for them. Thanks again for watching. If you like my videos, please hit the like and subscribe button. To get notifications of new videos, click on the bell. And until next time, please keep calm and gently squeeze the trigger.